I'm Hernando County Sheriff Al Nienhuis with another segment of our new video series. Now these videos, they'll be less than five minutes each and we'll discuss some of the broad issues tackled by a modern law enforcement agency. Please follow our Facebook page or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified of upcoming videos. Also, since every situation is different, and has an Im infinite number of variables, these videos are for general information only and may or may not apply to any specific situation. Today, I'm going to talk about a difficult subject. We're going to talk a little bit about child pornography. Child pornography, as you might imagine, is a very serious crime, and for good reason. Every image resulted from a child being victimized, and every person who possesses that image has the potential to act on his or her fantasies. Now, you might be surprised to know that since the beginning of 2023, the Hernando County Sheriff's Office has arrested 21 individuals for possession of child pornography. Each person has had anywhere from a few to several hundred images. And since possessing even a small number of images results in enhanced penalties, these individuals, if convicted, could easily spend anywhere from five years to life behind bars. And when they are released, the individual will also be labeled and monitored as either a sexual offender or sexual predator. Over the last year or two, we've begun receiving a number of legitimate tips, so we dedicated a very small group of detectives to address this alarming trend. Based on the number of cases made already this year, it's only a matter of time before an individual engaging in this perverted behavior will be arrested. Now, whether a suspect claims to be addicted to pornography and was looking for a new high from child porn, or the person admits to having long-term pedophile tendencies, child pornography cannot be tolerated. And, just like any other crime, there are an infinite number of ways to get caught, and investigators are experts at making prosecutable cases. If you know of someone who might be engaged in possessing or distributing child pornography, please call the Sheriff's Office and request to speak to a detective in this, our Special Victims Unit. I hope you found this video informative. Remember to follow our Facebook page or subscribe to the HCSO YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you'd like to learn more about the great things going on every day here at the Sheriff's Office, I would invite you to attend our free Citizens Academy. A link with more information is listed in the narrative of this video. And as always, we appreciate the overwhelming support we receive from the community. We never take it for granted. Thank you.